Hey guys, I'm Cinderkey and welcome to Coffee Talk. Okay, it took a little bit of doing, my capture card didn't want to work, audio was faulty, but here we are, <laughs> as promised. Um, I'm going to try to keep this first episode around 30 minutes and then kind of go from there. Some of the other ones may be a little bit longer, but try to keep it somewhere around uh, under an hour. Um, let me know what you think by liking this video, I really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's dive right in. Also, I should say, uh, well, you can tell already the game's based in Seattle. Um, Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. I love this art style. And the music makes me really comfortable. <laughs> um, it is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Ah, the rain. I find it so calming. Coffee talk. All right, Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Well, oh, it's you. Hey, Cinderkey, how's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We've got a slight problem though. Huh, what happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry, I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. <laughs> Writer's block again? Got that right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Coffee's ready? Ah! Pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you figured how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. All right, well, thank you for reminding me what you need twice. Uh, okay, so that's where I check the music. Oh, this is like their Facebook. And here's my recipes. Okay. Uh, espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. All right. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. I like, again, I've said I like these art styles. I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat that a little bit because I just, I love the way everything looks. It's, it's so, I, I don't think cute is the right word. It's very stylized. I, I like the way it looks. I want like a wallpaper of it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer tonight. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. 
Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job, in case things go awry. <laughs> huh? Did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when the opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well... I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So, naturally, I pitched my book idea. Guessing it didn't go well. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. So, how did they react? Thankfully, he'd seen my short stories. So, he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. And get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great! What about your job at the Evening Whispers? You have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the Chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it... I decided just to delete everything immediately. So, zero. Yeah. I really need to finish it, at most, in at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra time, or extra week, to publish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to, need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. I forgot. You can, like, scope around and look at all the things. Or, I mean, like, the atmosphere and people walking in the background. Uh, I wrote some of my best stories here, you know. Sorry, I might have read that before. Uh, really? Glad this place could be a service. Oh, it looks like someone's coming. I don't know which way's the door. Oh, the door must be that way. Welcome! Hi there. Hello. Good evening. Over here, miss? Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So, definitely no coffee. How about something chocolatey? It's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. Gotcha, chocolate. Tea is not a bad idea either. If you're okay with the herbal stuff. Uh, okay. But she wants chocolate. Uh, dark chocolate. A warm and calming darkness. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Alright. One, two, three. And brew. Stuff's still gonna be kind of strong with the dark cocoa type. There you go. 
One cup of chocolatey goodness. Thank you. It's so warm. So you're waiting for your boyfriend? Yes, he should be here soon. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. I thought this place would be more crowded. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still open past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop open only at midnight? Or only at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Cinderkey here is damn rich. That's a secret. Damn, I wish. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Cinderkey can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you're still, you'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the Evening Whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of stories do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? I should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Welcome! Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with these fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preference, sir? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art on the top. Oof. Okay. Uh, bitter with latte art. Oh, that's that's tea. Whoops. Um, bitter milk latte art. So cappuccino. Italian delight. Uh, cafe latte, caffeine boost dominated by milk. Espresso, blacker than the moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Okay, I think I read that already. Alright, so what was it? Cappuccino, coffee, coffee, milk. Gotcha! Coffee, coffee, and milk. And then I gotta draw coffee art on it. Ah! Ah, uh, here comes the hard part. Uh, let's do this, and then etch. Ooh, some little swirlies. I am not an artist. I like to doodle, but I can't draw. Music is calming though, and that's the kind of thing I missed sitting in a coffee shop with like a notepad, just being able to sketch or watch YouTube on a, on my phone with some headphones in or listen to music. There's something nice about getting out of the house and just kind of relaxing in that environment. Okay, this looks a lot like a tree from Halloween Town or something. And it's all sorts of ugly. Eh. That's the 
grow some vines up this way. Eh. There. Okay. Well, that's... Actually... I kind of like it. It's weird, but it's not... Eh, I like it. They may hate it, but I like it. Here's your order. Huh, is this what you call latte art? Hey, I tried. That's cute. Perfect. Well, at least it tastes properly. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having such a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lau. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet you both. Uh, I'm Cinderkey. Hey, do you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some characters and infographs for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. Haha, <laughs> come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customer this late at night are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. <laughs> Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Wherever it is that I'm going to write. So I'll leave you to... in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. Just over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Aw, bye Freya. Can I, can I see where she went? Hmm. Kind of sad. I wish I could see her like in the corner of my, uh, in like the background or something. That'd be cool. Uh, should we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. <laughs> and lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Cinderkey here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah? How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fist to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn from the day. For the day. Oh, someone's phone's going off. Something's wrong? Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them? I did didn't end well? No. What did they say? 
a lot. Oh, they're angry. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. Oh, I didn't really notice his pointed ears before. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? Oh, what's happening here? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. About who even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Oh, so that's who. Okay. That's exactly what they said. I don't I don't recognize my magical creatures right off the bat. So this is it then. The end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. Well then screw them. Do the Romeo and Juliet. Th well, don't do the Romeo. Do the Romeo and Juliet without the suicide. Just leave, both of you. We can just continue. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. Oh wow, you guys live longer than us? Rude. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Wow, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. Aww. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. And you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lao, wait! Dang. I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's alright. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. You have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? You like green tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one. Ah, they are good. It's been a while since I've had one. Uh, what does it require? Let's see. Green tea? Milk, milk. Gotcha. And double milk. Does this one need fancy lar uh, art too? Ooh. Again, this guy is sad. Let's give him some art. Um, here, I'll try pouring from this direction up. Whoop. I just want to make it look exactly like the picture did. It was it was a it was a leaf. I'll try to copy the image. Oh, wow, that's not that's not anything like the image. Eh. Wait, is it drawing this way? I want to get good at this. Kind of looks like a kind of looks like smoke. But just kind of make it look like a fall, you know, like fall leaf. Oh wow, that's that's truly awful. 
Oh my gosh, it's so hideous. Alright, here's your green tea latte. This is good. Well, at least it, again, at least it tastes good, even though the art is crappy. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Me? Yes. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. <laughs> anyway, I need to go now, and probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until the sun- until sunrise. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. I hope they work things out. Oh, you hear everything? You were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find their way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close up the shop after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to leave this first episode here. Uh, like I said, I wanted to keep it kind of short. Um, let me know what you think of the video. Uh, let me know in the comments. Like the video, really appreciate it. Subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!